What's up everyone, welcome back to another Fire Mountain video. So today, we're doing a little bit of duck hunting. This is the first weekend after big game season, is, general season is over. So I can finally go out and try to shoot some birds without feeling guilty. I went out two times during the general season of big game, tried to get some ducks and geese. They failed, I tried filming videos, but I didn't get anything, so I didn't put a video together for it. But I did jump shoot some geese last weekend while I was out elk hunting. So that was cool. But I'm at a new spot today on the river. I came out here yesterday, did some scouting. And it's tough to find spots on this river because this river flows freaking quick. And I don't have a dog, I don't have a boat, kayak, or nothing to go out and try to retrieve birds in the flowing river. And it's all rocky and my waders are slippery, so it's kind of tough so yesterday i came out here and tried to find some little meandering parts of the river that broke off and um where they slowed down a bit to where it'd be manageable to recover some birds and so i found a decent what looks like to be a decent area and i jumped some geese off of this spot last night and as i was walking in i there was a solo goose just flowing um flying down the river right across the spot so hopefully we get some more traffic coming through here. Today is off to a terrible start. My alarm didn't go off because I had it set to weekdays at whatever time I wanted to get up. It was on a weekday. Today's a Saturday. So it didn't go off, but luckily I happened to just wake up and check. And it was probably like 35 minutes after I wanted to get up. So I get out here right before shooting light, park the truck, realize I have my duck stamp and my, uh, my duck license but I didn't have my hunting license. It was in my jacket that I was wearing last weekend when I was elk hunting. <laughs> so I drive all the way back home, go grab that, come back. So now I'm already, it's like an hour after shooting light, but anyways, hopefully we can get some action. As you can see, I put out a bunch of shells, some Canada shells on this ice bank, and I got some floater, um, widgeon, mallard, and gadwalls out there. out of the south today so I'm hoping I can get some birds to decoy right into here coming head on from me we'll see how it goes most of the water here is frozen so the only open water is really the rivers from what I can tell and so hopefully they'll come off the feed and come back to the river So there's a single Canada goose on the water, as you can see from that footage, and he's he's try he's like facing upstream, but he's the current's bringing him back towards me. So hopefully I'm gonna just start calling, and because that's how I heard it. I heard a, heard a goose call, and I turned around, called a little bit, and I saw him on the water down there. So hopefully he'll flow past me and he'll come into the decoys. That goose is not moving. <laughs> He's happily hanging out right where he's at, so hopefully he'll eventually work his way down here, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. The wind is blowing so hard that these birds don't want to get up and fly, and I don't. he could probably hardly hear my calls, because I can hardly hear him when he calls a little bit, so... And he probably has no idea where it's coming from. He can't see anything. So it's going to be a tough one to bring him over here, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> He's got to know that I'm over here at this point. Because he was just responding to some of the calls. I don't know enough about geese to know if what they say when they do calls to each other so hopefully he'll work his way in because I haven't seen a single bird flying not a goose not a duck oh 
I got some flyers. They're far away, but maybe they can, they're not gonna hear me, but I'm gonna try. Oh my god, they're all going to that solo goose out in the middle of freaking no man's land. If they land over there, I'm gonna go try to just jump shoot them. Cause uh, when they were right up above me here, I could have tried to take a poke at them. The back group was probably 60 yards maybe. But they came out of nowhere. They, there's a bunch of fields out here, so they must have been up on that field and just came off but they definitely just landed so I'm gonna I'm gonna go investigate I'm gonna go take a look worst comes to worst maybe I pop them off that water there and they'll come I mean I know they saw this so hopefully they'll come at it I don't know we're gonna go find out well I'm gonna go jump shoot the geese tripped my camera in hand, got in the other, walking upstream, and this river fell, breached the waders a little bit, and yeah, it sucked. And I'm a little wet now, so I still haven't even seen the geese yet, so I have one of my boots off. This one got pretty wet. And I don't even know if my camera is working right now. Uh, luckily, it's not super cold, but anyways, I'm gonna see if I can shoot the geese. If not, I'm gonna have to pack up because I'm not gonna be able to sit out here. That sucked, but you know, learn the hard way, I guess. That was terrible. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, but geez, I, it's frustrating. Oh man, this is, this is tough. It's hard because it's up here in Montana. There's not like what I'm used to is like marshes and stuff to go to where there's just shallow, calm water, reeds, throw the decoys out, hiding them and simple as that. This whole river system is tough because yeah, I fell in the freaking water trying to crawl it like it's not fun walking in that water. And there's some geese right there. Plenty of freaking geese around, but I just can't get to them. But yeah, and I will say though, if I was probably wearing anything different, falling in that water would have ruined me and I would have just sprinted the heck out of here but I I stayed warm even though my pants were soaked I had a rain layer on so it didn't like penetrate through my shirt much my sleeves got a little wet but they're almost kind of dry and I mean I had all merino base layers on I even had merino pants on and so they got wet, but they keep you warm. And I had merino socks on. So even though I was wet, I was warm. I never once got cold. So if you take anything from this video, wear merino layers and clothing when you're out duck hunting. Cause if you do get wet, it's gonna be miserable, but the merino makes it bearable. So anyways, I'm gonna drive along the river maybe try to find a new spot scout some new areas maybe try to jump some birds but probably not i'm just gonna try to learn this area a little more and figure out what i can do well i found the geese checking on x 
I'll keep an eye on this place. Maybe it'd be worth getting permission to try to hunt the field. That'd be fun. I haven't, I've never done a dry field hunt, so it could be kind of cool. So I'm gonna mark the spot on X and see what, see what else I can find. We just got to this state piece that has um, a nice little creek that runs all the way through it or canal, I don't know what you wanna call it. But just on the private side, it comes across. And I just, um, there's just two mallards popped up off the water as I pulled up on the private side. So the water's open and it's flowing. So, and I've been noticing ducks on it as I'm just driving down this these county roads back here. So I think I could probably kick a couple ducks up off of this stream. That's what I'm hoping for. So. I'm gonna take a little stroll and see if we can shoot a duck. Well, I just shot my first mallard. That's right, <laughs> first ever mallard, it's a drake. They jumped up off the water, took two shots, missed, he flared back over me, hit him with the third shot, dropped right into these toolies, but the water's just too deep for me to get across. So luckily the truck's not too far away. I'm gonna go grab my waders and come back for him. Of course, I come back with the waders. My freaking camera's dead. And I freaking left all the batteries for it in the truck. So, I'm just gonna try to get across, find this bird. Here we are. Sorry about the wind. I'm on the camera, I'm on the cell phone. But there it is, my first ever mallard. Just a freaking stud. Look at that, he looks like he's a ma in a mounted posture right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, you don't understand how stoked I am. Look at that, triple curls. Today turned out good. Got a clean shot on this beautiful mallard. Holy smokes. I'm so happy right now. Look at this thing, that's just a stud. I've never even shot a mallard before, but just, he's just a meaty stud mallard. Just a total beauty. Oh, just a big old bird. Gotta love it. I'm gonna walk a little farther and see if I can find a couple more and then call it a day and time for some duck dinner. I walked out there pretty far. I didn't go all the way to the back of the property, but I walked back pretty far. I was in my waders and my feet were starting to hurt really bad. My socks are wet and they're all bunched up. Saving this spot on the map, I'll be back. It's, I don't know if I'll, it would be worth, unless like there was a big cold front coming in and I knew tons of birds were gonna be coming in, then maybe I would set up decoys out there. But until that happens, I would say I'm gonna save this spot on the map just to come to and just do some like um, mid-morning or evening walks up and down the stream and just try to jump shoot some birds. I am so excited that I was able to down a bird and especially a Drake Mallard. He is just a gorgeous looking bird. I've, like I said, never shot a Mallard before. Uh, I mean, this is my third year hunting ducks now and back in California, I only had one group, like two different times that I had some mallards come in and I just totally messed up on the opportunity. So my time back there, I didn't I didn't really have that much chances to shoot mallards. And now up here in Montana, like that's the only duck I see is mallards. There's tons of mallards here, so I'm, I think I'll get my mallard fix in once I figure out the way uh, all this works. Cause like I said, big game season's over now and now I've got two months to hunt ducks and geese and the goal is to just really hone that in and start piling up some birds because I want to fill the freezer with as many birds as I can before the season's over and this one isn't probably even going to hit the freezer. I'm probably going to cook this thing for dinner tonight. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time.